What's up? We haven't done a vlog in a while. We've done some book talks here on this channel and some other things, but it feels like a good day to kind of share some of the awesome things we're doing in class and a lot of things I want to talk about. So without further ado, let's go. Kids are about to come in. It is Friday morning here at school. It's been a great first week back from spring break, but I am so tired. I have had a hard time getting up at 4.30 like I like to do in the morning and getting going. So it's been an interesting transition week. I didn't think it would be so hard. Usually I don't have any trouble getting up in the morning, but a week with no alarm clock is making it tricky. Today also marks the one month I guess, anniversary of the Creativity Project being in the world. It has been an amazing month. I thought it would be fun to share a couple of things that have happened. The thing that happened yesterday in class that totally blew my mind, one of my students came up to me uh, with a computer in hand and was like, I'm trying to send this email, can you help me? And so I asked him some questions and come to find out he was emailing his kindergarten teacher. He didn't go to Parm Elementary as a kindergartner. He went to a different school and he had read John Shue's uh, piece in the Creativity Project in which he writes a letter to his fifth grade teacher. And that inspired my student to find his kindergarten teacher and send her an email and he did find her. He looked it up at the school address that he used to attend and he had found her email address and he just needed help figuring out how to send it. And it's those kinds of things that I have really enjoyed seeing on Twitter and Facebook from other people using the Creativity Project to inspire their students to create things and to do things. And it has just made my heart so happy to see this book doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to inspire kids to create, inspire kids to make things, and I could not be happier. Things are crazy in my classroom. My son is practicing guitar, my daughter and her friend are making a video, my other daughter is making a video. It's awesome tastic. All right, the day is gonna start, so I should go and do some fun stuff with my students. I'll check back in at lunch. Look around, look around, what do you see? Books, books. Are you ready to read? Gather around, gather around, what do you hear? Books, books. Open up your ear. I'll read to you, you, ooh, you'll sing to me, me, e. Books, books. Everybody find a seat. I'll read to you, you, ooh, you'll sing to me, me, e. We'll start in one, two, three. Holy smokes, what a great two, morning three. with my fifth graders. I had a blast. One of my students is so on fire as a reader and he just devoured uh, The Hate You Give, which is a pretty intense book, but he found a way to get the audiobook at home. He read that, devoured it. Uh, he read a book called Game Changer by Tommy Greenwald, devoured it, and now he's devouring Kwame Alexander's uh, Rebound. And I just keep thinking like, man, you are on fire. And then I just started singing. Uh, which I tend to, I tend to, I can be a little different, a little crazy, but I don't usually like sing Alicia Keys song, but I just started singing, this reader's on fire, but I was like even way more into it. And then I was like standing on the table singing this reader's on fire and he's like smiling and all the kids are laughing. And one kid's like, you can't hit that note. And I, so they just made, gave me more energy. And I just kept thinking about like just crew, this amazing reading community that we have and how much I love my students. And we're just at this interesting place in the year where we can be crazy and we can be ourselves around each other and we can sing about awesome readers and great learning that is happening in our classroom. Uh, and we have a cleanup song at the end of each section of time I have with students. And usually we've been listening to that This Is Me song from The Greatest Showman. But today we listened to Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire and the whole class was like singing, this reader's on fire. Being a school teacher is so much fun. Overall, great morning, Creative Start. Uh, I've talked a little bit about Creative Start. People, have, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video about Creative Start, um, and I'm just not ready to like make the Creative Start video because I am just learning so much about it, and I feel like it is changing so much. I feel like we are failing constantly when Creative Start. I think that's part of why it's great because I'm learning with them. Uh, it's basically. They get 25 minutes a day at the beginning of each day to create whatever it is that they want. I've introduced them to a bunch of different things and they've been creating and it's so fun. It's so fun to watch them make things. But what I've been noticing lately is that 
they're not finishing anything. And it's hard because I don't want to make creative start feel too much like school where you have to finish and there's a grade and, and you have to do this. And, but at the same time, like I feel like they needed more for me. They needed some scaffolds in place. So I decided to that we were going to have their creativity project because I had my creativity project, which is the book that I uh, helped create that just came out. Um, but like they needed their own creativity project. So I said, basically, I said, guys, we're going to create a creativity project, each one of you or groups, however you want to do it. And on May 16th, I want you to have something to present to the class. And that could mean you just have it sitting out with like a little bit about it, or you're actually acting something out, or there's a video you've created, or you've made something out of cardboard. I don't care. I just want you to be able to have something to present. And they were ready for that. I don't think they would have been ready for that at the beginning of the year. I think they would have withdrawn and a creative start. We would have been just frustrated that I had uh, given them a little more structure. But they loved it, and it has created an atmosphere of just amazing making. Um, today we actually went 25 minutes over. We went 50 minutes, and I didn't even realize what time it was just because the classroom was so on fire. Uh, so that, that was a really great thing that happened this morning. I'll show you a little bit. It's One thing about Creative Start is when they're really on fire, the room is trashed. Trash. So you can, you can just see, like, there's all of this cardboard construction. Stuff is all over the place all these things that they're making. You can see over here, like it's just taken over the room. And I'm not like necessarily the cleanest person in the world or the most organized person in the world. But all of these boxes do stress me out a little bit. These are the, our biggest friends to create a start, cardboard cutters. You just cut cardboard really easily and safely. We love those very much. Let's see if Beekle's in here. Beekle had a great morning. She walked around a bunch. She's in the corner trying to nap, and I'm bothering her. So overall, a really wonderful morning. We're reading Refugee. Alan Gratz is Refugee, and we're at this part, if you read Refugee, where uh, Mahmoud uh, is, like, falling off of the boat and his family, and they've, it, it's just this crazy part, and they're, like, trying to survive and not drown, and there's, like, a body floating with a light. It's crazy. It was one of the greatest read aloud chapters. There was gasping and like, whew, like just huge sighs of relief. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty on fire morning. Pretty on fire. All right, I gotta go do some other things and I will try to reconnect with you at the end of the school day. Hey, I know that I said that I would be back at the end of the day, but I'm reading Bob by Rebecca Stead and Wendy Mass. And I just wanted to say that this book is blowing my mind. It's so good. And like, think about two amazing rock star authors together writing a book. It is about this girl named Livy and this creature named Bob. And I, th there's something going on with Livy and I don't know what it is. I don't know why she's not remembering things. I'm on page 90 and I have to know, like I have to know what's going on. I have to finish this book as soon as possible, but I'm so tired. It's the first week back from spring break. I need a nap, but I have to figure out what's going on with Bob. It's so good. So you have to read this book. It's, and look at the cover, like seriously, like look at Bob and Livy. It's so good. All right, I have to go and do some things because that's what you do when you're a teacher. You have so much to do and no time to do it. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, I love it. Day is over, the weekend is here. Check out my awesome shirt. I thought my kids would know who Andre the Giant was because they love wrestling, but you know what they said? Hey, Princess Bride. Princess and the Bride? I don't know. I don't really watch very many movies. But they didn't know Andre the Giant from his wrestling days. Oh, anyways, great end of the day. Had a blast. We got outside. We were able to play some football and basketball and swing on the swings. Uh, it's been a crazy weather year, so we haven't been outside in a long time for our, uh, our afternoon brain break. But we got outside today. Whew. First week back from spring break was exhausting, but a blessing to hang out with such awesome kids. It was fantastic. Every Friday, I read with my kids a little bit. Bob, I mentioned it a little bit a little while ago at lunch, finished it. It's so good, friends. I'll put the link down below. You need to pre-order this book. I think it comes out next month. It is absolutely phenomenal. 
Wendy Mass and Rebecca Stett are word wizards and they've created a beautiful tale. It would make an amazing read aloud. It's just 190 pages and it's not super big. It would make an amazing, amazing read aloud. Uh, the picture book we read aloud today, Albie Newton, super fun. Uh, the kids loved it. It's fun to read aloud a, rhyme, a book with rhyme uh, to fifth graders. Kids love that stuff still. Hope you have an awesome day, an awesome week, that your life is filled with books and readers and joy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an awesome-tastic day and happy, happy reading.